Hi there, this is Chris from Moto Legends, the chap in the cap, here today to talk to you about a leather jean, a goatskin leather jean from Swedish brand Helvarsons. It's called the Seth jean. So this is the Seth leather jean from Helvarsons. Now back in the day, we all rode in leather. Jeans were not developed then. When I started biking, Kevlar jeans had barely been invented. Everyone had a pair of leather trousers. We didn't have knee armor, but they were deemed to be about as abrasion resistant as you could find. It was just part of the uniform. Over the years, leather got hijacked by the sports bike riders. So leather pants with sliders on and so on became very much the rigueur. It means that these days there just aren't that many casual leather trousers around. And in fact, this is one of only two pairs that we sell, both of them from Helvarsons. So this is a leather trouser that you can wear on a retro bike, on any kind of sit-up bike, on, a, on a, a cruiser bike. And there just aren't many options when one looks at them. This is made from a washed goat skin. Now, we love goat skin as a leather for motorcycle wear. Goat skin is naturally thinner than cowhide, but for its thickness, it is stronger. So a goat skin garment makes for great motorcycle wear and it makes it particularly comfortable. In typical Halvarsen's fashion, they then back the leather with a material that they call high art. Now, high art does the job of a Kevlar backing. In fact, high art is not Kevlar at all. It's their own construction, but they put it in all the, the vulnerable areas and it increases the strength of the outer fabric. So if it's a textile, Pants or jacket increases the strength by a factor of 500%, so times six. In a leather garment, it increases the strength of the garment by a factor of 200%. So you can rest assured that this is a very protective trouser. You're never going to wear through it through leather on the road anyway. Leather's just too strong. You know, I don't know what the slide time is, but it's going to be somewhere around four seconds. So this is an immensely strong pant. The fact that you've got the high art in it is just going to make it even more so but one need have no concerns about it from a protective standpoint the leather is washed now washing leather what they do in the factory before they actually make up the jeans they put the leather in a big tumble dry they don't use water obviously but they're tumbling it around and what it does it gives the leather it makes it soft and it gives it a kind of a beat up retro patinated feel that's exactly what you've got here and this is indeed a very lovely leather to wear I'm going to ask you to excuse, please, the pair of trousers we've got here. These are too large for our dummy. I have to assure you that when you've got the right size, these pants look absolutely fantastic. But I'm afraid on this dummy, it's at least one size too big. They're looking a little bit baggy. In terms of protection, I've mentioned abrasion resistance, but obviously one needs impact protectors. These are AA rated, so you've got hip protectors, fixed hip protectors. You've got knee protectors. Halvarsons doesn't use... D3O, they have their own armour. I have to admit, it's a little bit clunky, it's a bit heavy duty, it's a little bit old fashioned as armour. Clearly does, that does the job, but it's not at the comfort levels that we've come to expect these days. As long as you get the armour in exactly the right place, however, it's fine. And when somebody comes here to the shop to buy a pair, we will sit them on the bike, we will make sure that the armour cups the knee on the bike. Now when you get off the bike, that might mean they, dr they drop a little, but the important point obviously is to get them in the right place on the bike. Once you've done that, it's perfectly fine. But there are softer armors around and it's just one of the things that you have, have to accept with how Varsons, they do things their own way. In terms of the length of the trousers, they have what we call a raw finish. So there's no zip. These will not go over an extremely wide boot. They're meant to be worn with, I think you'll get a, a Daytona under, under these, but they're meant to be worn often with a slimmer or shorter boot. But there's no finish on the bottom. Again, when you come, uh, come to us, we will sit you on the bike, we will trim them, we will hem them. We always do that within the cost. They don't come in different leg lengths, by the way. Here, there's a zip. So one of the nice things about Halvarsons, they believe very much in zipping together. So this will zip into any Halvarsons jacket or indeed into any a rucker jacket. Not that you're necessarily gonna wear a rucker jacket with this, but zipping together is very much part of Halvarsons, Halvarsons philosophy. In terms of sizes, it comes or goes from a 30 inch waist right up to a 42 inch waist. There's also a ladies version. Price is 299. There aren't many jeans like this. I don't know of another single wearable 
leather jean, pure leather jean. So if that's the style you want, maybe you're on a cruiser, you're on a retro bike, you just prefer leather. And we tend to wear leather, not because it necessarily confers any great safety advantages these days. We wear leather because we just like leather. And if that's your thing, this is a pan that you've got to look at at 299 pounds. It's a pretty good, good value pan. It's quite unique. So that was the Seth Jean from Halvarsons. Now, normally at this juncture, I say something like to see our entire range of leather jeans, visit the website. However, we do not have many more leather jeans. Leather pants tend to be a little bit more racing focused, sports bike focused. We do not do a lot of gear for the seriously addicted sports bike rider. We do do another leather jean from Halvarsons, that's called the rider pants. You may find one or two leather pants from Furigan, but there aren't many on our website. However, if you would like to look at this particular pant, the Seth pant, then click on the button top right, that will take you directly to the relevant page on our website. You can check out the specs, the details, the availability, and if you really like them, obviously you can order a pair there and then. Now, when you buy from us on the internet, we try to make the process as simple, straightforward, and risk-free as we possibly can. Nothing we sell on the website, no item of protective wear has any PMP charge. Once you've received something, if you've decided that you just don't like it, if you change your mind, if it doesn't fit, it's, if it's not what you thought it was, you, could, you can return that to us, again, at our cost. And what's more, we give you a full 12 months to make that decision. Now, we're not expecting you to take a pair of pants like this, ride around in them for nine months, send them back and go, no, they're not quite what I was looking for. We're merely trying to take the pressure off you. There's no risk. There's no rush to get anything back to us. The other thing we do, which we think puts us in a different league to anyone else in the industry, is we don't give you a price match promise. We give you a price beat guarantee. So John Lewis, for example, has their never knowingly undersold policy, but what we do, if anybody sells anything that we sell cheaper than us, we will beat their price by 10%. So let's say that someone's selling a pant for 200, so we're selling a pant for 200 pounds. If someone has those pants for 180 pounds, we will sell you those same trousers for 162 pounds. If the vendor is in Europe, then we will match their price, including P and P, but in the UK, we will beat it plus 10 10%. There are a few terms and conditions on the website. So if you visit the website, they're not at all onerous, but it might be best if you check them out first. You can, by the way, affect the price beat guarantee at the point of purchase. So you check it out before you buy from us, or you've got up to a fortnight after you buy to affect the guarantee. If in the future you would like to receive information about new products from us via email, then if you go to the top of the front page of the website there's a piece of script there that says newsletter sign up click on that takes a couple of seconds in future you will receive bulletins from us as and when new products become available if however you prefer to get your information from us videographically in other words in this form we would be delighted if you wanted to become a subscriber to our youtube channel and you can do that by clicking on the button below one final point i want to make is we're also a shop now we're based in surrey on the edges of guildford the shop itself is pretty small. The footprint of the shop is small, but it's attached to our warehouse where we have three stories, two million pounds worth of merchandise. We can fetch anything from that warehouse in a matter of, of seconds or, or minutes. This is technically therefore the second largest motorcycle apparel shop in the UK. So if you're looking for a helmet, boot, gloves, whatever it is, you stand a better chance of finding those items here than you do in almost any other shop in the UK. It's a brilliant shop. It's a very funky little shop. We hope to hear you. We hope to see you here at some point. Anyway, this has been Chris at Moto Legends. We'll talk again soon.